Hey guys, I think I've mentioned on more than one occasion that I do not restore vintage electronics for a living. I'm a programmer, and specifically lately I've been a contract programmer. By that I mean I work at home, I get paid by the hour, and the gigs usually just last uh, a few weeks, maybe a few months, and then that's that, and I have to move on find another job. Well, my current one's been going on uh, for quite some time now, and things are going pretty well. But it did require the use of a Mac, and I'm a PC guy. Luckily, they were nice enough to provide me with this MacBook Pro. Otherwise, I would have had to either turn them down or go out and buy one on my own. Well, it's nice and all, but... I'm programming, so I've got various windows open. I'm programming in Ruby on Rails, PHP, uh, occasionally Perl, Python. I've been doing some uh, smartphone development, so I'm in Java and so on. And I need to have multiple windows open. i got code windows open, documentation, always need a web browser going. So uh, this little 13-inch screen is... is is tough on the eyes after after hours of working on this with this every day. Well, I, anyways, to, to make a long story short, uh, a few months ago they asked me and some of the other contract developers they have working, is there anything that we would like to have, anything that could increase our productivity? And they said, don't be afraid to ask. Well, the worst we can do is say no. So I said, sure, I'll take an iPhone, an iPad, an Android-based tablet. Uh, how about a couple external monitors? Maybe I can hook those up to the laptop and have a multi-monitor display with the Mac like I do on my PC. Well, the weeks went by and nothing happened, so I figured, well, they just <laughs> turned down my request and that's that. Well, I guess the wheels move slowly in the corporate world. And they did actually send me this gigantic box, which just showed up. I'm not entirely sure what's in there. All I know is it's a very large box, and it was very heavy. At least I'm expecting there's a large display or two in there. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to clear some space, grab a knife, and let's see what's in this box. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. This might actually be brand new. Check this out. iMac 27 inch LED. And this is one of the new ones with PCs built into the monitor. And I should say the computer, not the PC. <laughs> the Mac hardware is built into the monitor. And uh, it's got a wireless keyboard and a, a magic mouse, whatever that might be. So I say I'm not a, exactly a big Mac guy, but I uh, do occasionally check out the models when I'm at a computer store. So I have seen these in the flesh before. Alright, so... It's a box within a box, I guess is what it comes down to. You give this little carry handle on top of this, this isn't exactly portable. Oh, I'm going to try to get this out without destroying it because I probably will have to return this someday. point is about having one box and the other because there's virtually no clearance and no padding between the two boxes. Then again I suppose you wouldn't want to ship a box that looked like this. Probably would uh, have a better chance of getting stolen if they just shipped it like this. Here I want this box appears to indeed have been opened already. Alright, well, 
That's pretty much it. There's that one box and then there's the whole monitor. That's basically all that was in the box. So, uh, well, I guess there's no manuals. I know they always say that uh, just plug these in and they work and you don't need any setup instructions. We'll see how that goes. Right, so, let's see what was in this box. Oh, this keyboard. Huh, where is my magic mouse? I don't know. Well, I suppose maybe there's a USB port and I can hook one up. Oh, there it is. Apple's just so clever. I was hiding into the keyboard. Ah, I've already heard bad things about this keyboard when these came out. This thing had been open, but just like with the laptop, if this had been used, it sure didn't seem much use. Yeah, I can already tell you I'm not going to like this keyboard. I used to have a full size keyboard we've got arrow keys and numeric keypad over here and stuff these little arrows down here and I got big hands <laughs> this will take some getting used to and here's the magic mouse here's being a Mac just one button the thing just clicks down Alright, and let's see how this has come off. It's kind of like Tyvek house wrap or something. It's got some adhesive on the back. Oh, still got the plastic on the screen, I think. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So this is this is awesome for work and all, but <laughs> uh, how deep do I want to go into the Mac world? Because I do all my other personal stuff on a PC. Uh, well, I guess I'll, <laughs> I'll just have to decide that in the future. And I will have to give this back someday. Right. To use English for the main language, press the return key. is working. I'm not going to go through the whole Mac setup. I just want to get this thing up and running so we can see uh, what kind of power this thing has and see if I get it on my Wi-Fi network. Sees my network, that's a good sign. Alright, if I click on this Apple and go to about this Mac, should be able to get some info. Uh, 3.1 gigahertz Intel Core i5, 16 gigs of RAM, that's nice. AMD Radeon HD 6970M, 1 gig of RAM, 
2560 by 1440 display. Nice. Storage. Huh. This has a flash drive. I was not expecting that. 250 gig uh, solid state hard drive. I've only heard about these. I've never actually used one before. And it's got a 2 terabyte conventional hard drive. Completely unused. Geez, even the solid state drive has barely got anything on it. I would have thought the OS would take up more, but... Well, I suppose, what, 13 gig, that is a pretty hefty chunk of hard drive. Man, maybe I should do my video editing on this machine. That memory, 16 gig. Alright, nice. And absolutely nothing is installed except the base stuff that comes with it. Alright, well, I'm going to... Try not to let this distract me too much from my projects. Definitely want to get back to the working on the predictors. Hope you guys enjoyed this little look at my latest toy.